Welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we met our new friend, who is an incredible person, that is going to be a sage of ours soon. We've come over to the Goron area to uh, to discover the last regional phenomena, and I'm kind of regretting it not being the first regional phenomena that we went to, considering how good this guy actually is. He is... It is, is incredible. He is absolutely incredible. We found ourselves a bubble frog. We're in a cave that we uh, came to in the last episode, and this bubble frog is doing a little bit of bouncing around. There we go. Get him, guys. Thanks. And there we go. We have another bubble gem. We need to find the guy. We need to find the guy that did the bubble gems. And the other thing I would really like to do while we are uh, on this journey in the ridiculously hot parts of the world uh, everywhere underwater is not just so hot that you need, you know, heat resistance. You need flame resistance. If you look at the thermometer in the bottom right, it is red hot. Now, we have one piece of super hot armor, which we bought uh, in the last episode. But uh, unfortunately, because it's brand new armor, it's pretty weak. So really, what I could do to do is take it over to, uh, to one of the fairies and see if they can actually buff it up a little bit. To make us a little bit stronger in this area, you know. So uh, I'm tempted to sort of just skip out of this area, go find a fairy and see what it's going to cost us to do that. Because it might mean that we actually need a bunch of the stuff from this area in order to do that. Uh, which could be a problem until we finish this area. But it would be nice to know. It would be nice to know. Um, there's also quite a lot going on in this area. Because obviously this is the first time we've explored the Goron area. And it is a big area of the map. If we look on here, it's all of this stuff around here. We need to get up to there. The top of Death Mountain where fake Princess Zelda is. And um, yeah, we got we got a long way to go to get there. So I'm thinking it might be an opportune time while oh while we're here fighting bad guys which I've, I've now i've got a new love for fighting bad guys because um basically they help you level up oh no you're gonna hit me uh can you get through my <laughs> oh, wow a quarter of a heart come me ya. there we go and you and there you go have a couple of those and then Hang on, wait, wait, don't hit me yet. Because you're going to get hit by the big guy in a minute. Oof. Uh, say, the, the silver ones do a lot more damage. Oh, and me horrible pounder is nearly... Oh, it's gone. I loved that one. Oh, well, not to worry. Let's use the Master Sword. Lovely. Pick up the pieces while uh, our new friend is dealing with the moblin over there. Nice. Easy peasy. Brilliant. Well, that's good news. And it looks like there's some arrows and things kicking about around here as well. Not much else, sadly. But yeah, I think it would be wise before we carry on in this area. To, to go and find a fairy and see if she can level us up a little bit or at least see what ingredients we're going to need to do that. I think it would also be a good idea to go back to this um, this little station over here. Oh, it's this one. Because all of these minecart tracks come out of there. So we've got one that will take us over there, which will be worth exploring. There's one that took us to where we went and there's one that will take us all the way over to here, which is going to help us get up the mountain. Now, there is also a road that goes up to mountain, which goes past these hot springs. And we spoke to a guy that was looking for some secret hot springs. So it might be worth talking to that guy as well. But before I do anything, no, actually, do you know what? Let's go back to this uh, my cart station. And then I'm going to put down a travel medallion over, over there. Hop off, go find a fairy. And then, uh, then we'll be able to get back here nice and quickly. There are shrines relatively close by, but not quite close enough, sadly. And I would also very much like a little bit more of this fire-resistant armor. I'd like the whole set, which might be relatively tricky to get hold of. Oh, you've got armor on. Okay. And he's holding flame things, which is not ideal. So actually, actually, let's uh, take his armor off the good old-fashioned way. Boom. Where's your armor gone now, mate? Hmm? What happened to it? It's like it just vanished all of a sudden. Oh, what a shame. Bob. Oh, shield, eh? Shield. Hey, I had a shield. Oh, I'm holding my bow. 
wondering why I didn't block then. Of course you can't block while you're holding your shield. Uh, your, your bow and arrow. Which makes perfect sense. Now I'm assuming these red choo-choo chellies were very, very important for upgrading our heat resistant gear. I'm assuming they're going to be just as important for in uh, upgrading the flame resistant gear. But I don't know. I honestly don't know. So let's pop down a travel medallion. We've got three to choose from. I don't know. I've got two left. I don't know where the other one is, but let's just place that there. And then I am going to go off to the closest fairy fountain, which is this one here. Now, how could it be? Oh, Link, are you going somewhere? I'll keep search for Princess Zelda on my own until you get back. Yeah, okay. Bye. Um, here we are, in the correct location. What direction is ye oldie fairy? I think... Yeah, she's just across the road up here. Yeah. Be nice and easy for us to get to. Come on, Link. Up the hill. That's it. Nearly there, bud. Grab these mushrooms and those herbs on the way. We need we need herbs. We've never got enough herbs. And here she is. Oh, another mushroom. Don't mind if I do. And a cooking pot. Don't need to do cooking now. I did all my cooking in the last episode. A whole bunch of it. And here is the fairy. It's a bit sad you don't get the little fairies by the fairy fountains anymore. They're all up in the sky. But uh, I guess that's fine. Hello. Great fairy terror. My throat doesn't feel quite right. Perhaps it's because of the gloom. You came to me to have your clothes in hands, right? Yes. Aww. Yes, I did. Ah, and we can actually upgrade it. Moblin horns. We've got loads of those. What about this one? Fire fruit. Oh, we can do both of those then. Is there anything else we can do? Let's just sort it. Hmm. Not, not really anything else I'd like to do. So, oh, me, me woolly trousers I can do now. Red choo-choo jellies. And warm saffron. Well, let's just see what this one's going to cost for first and second stage, and we'll see. Close your eyes. Skip. It's only gone up to five, so it's not fantastic. If you enhance each part of a sa set twice, you, we will give you a special bonus when you wear them. Yeah, well, I've done that on certain sets, and I don't seem to be getting any special bonuses. Ah, so now we need fireproof lizards, and we don't have any. So yeah, we probably get those in that area then. So let's do uh, these trousers, seeing as so we can afford to. Aww. Okay. I closed my eyes, I promise. And let's do the uh, the Aww. the new crazy helmet thing that we got that spits fire. Mm. Yes, please. Mm. I closed my eyes, I promise. Close my eyes, guys. Don't tell her. No, can we do that one again? No, we can't. Fire, breath, little foss horn, summer wing foot flies. Yeah, it's getting trickier and trickier to upgrade all of this stuff. Okay, well, thank you very much, great fairy. I'll see you later. I'm heading back now to see me mates and go and find Faco Zelda. Or Zelda Nut, as I uh, fondly call her. And if you're wondering why I'm calling this Eldenet, it's a bit of a play on... So, the TV series Fringe, uh, there was a guy called Walter in that, and the alternate Walter from the alternate universe, is called he called him Walternet, which makes sense because, you know, alternate and Walternet kind of work, whereas Zeldenet doesn't work at all. <laughs> but still, that's what I'm going to call her. So I actually want to take this, put it on this track here. Look out, sir. Oh, jeez. Oh, what have I got? It's all stuck together. Oh, I, I didn't want... Oh, okay. I guess we're taking two minecarts with us. I, I kind of only wanted one, really, guys. Uh, there's all sorts of... Cra there we go. Let's get a fan. <laughs> and stick it on the back. And hopefully we can push both of these. Find out in a minute. Go. We can. See, look, he's incredible. Whatever vehicle you're driving, you can use him as a as a rocket launcher. It's absolutely incredible. So I could just like fire him into there. Not that it's working. There we go. Whee! 
boom, and it comes flying back. It's incredible. Fire him at that Lizzle Foss. Oh, I, I, it won't let me fire him for some reason. Oh well. I guess I got to face him first. Oh, I, apparently I fell out. Huh. Well, that wasn't my intent. <laughs> I guess we probably weren't going all that much further, really. And it, it's nice to go on foot sometimes and shoot octorocks. Oh. Oh, you sneak. You absolute sneak. Ah. And another little bunny rabbit. That we might not have spotted if we were going on the train. Are you going to go straight into that that cave that we were literally coming to? You are. Okay. Another cave. Of mystery. Oh, too high up. Isle of Rabak Gallery. Oh, with many lavas. Okay. Well, this could be interesting, peeps. We've got a hot, hot place. We've got slightly better hot, hot armour. Now, seeing so, there's not really a great deal of stuff that's attacking us at the moment. I might put on this, uh, the new helmet we got. Where's it gone? Just because I want to see what it does. So this increases your attack in hot weather, which obviously that's where we are. Uh, and it says um, it produces a flame in hybrid temperature environments. So I want to, I want to see that in action. It looks like we're ma making minecarts again. I gotta say, on the whole, the building my the building stuff in this game I thought was going to get really boring, but it actually hasn't really. It's it's not actually got very boring boring at all. Some sometimes you just think, oh, I can't be bothered to build one of those. But then you know they're like, oh, well, don't worry about that. You've got auto build now. Oh, wow. However, sticking things often in the right place is not always as easy as it looks. There we go. Now I won't interfere with the track. Lovely. I just want to... No. I wanted to hop across to that and get that, but I was greedy. Oh, I know. I, would... oh, I can get it open by sending uh, our friend over there. But I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to get it. I wonder if I put one of these down in the water. I can hop across that. Water? Yeah, this yellow hot, hot water that's here. No. Even that's too low down. All right. Okay. Forget it. We don't need that that much. We're not that desperate. Why am I suddenly... Oh, it's a fire case. <laughs> Why am I on fire? Stop it. Have I got frame, frame proof clothes? Could be on fire, guys. What I should do is probably have some dinner. Okay, let's go. Let's see where this place takes us. With our incredible machine. Now, there's a lot of bright blooms down there, which would have been useful to get. Oh, and rocks as well. Yeah, it would have been a good idea to walk down there, really. Although, this bit might have been tricky. This bit could have been very tricky. I'm kind of thinking that the reason he's on the front is one of these minecart tracks he's going to have. Like, something we need to hit on the way, like that. And one of them. There's not even a call down. You can just throw him as many times as you want. It's incredible. So yeah, that should have switched us tracks now. It ha it has. That was a bit janky. Bunch of guys down there. Oh, you missed. Oof. <laughs> Get it. Another one here. Missed. Get him. <laughs> this is incredible. Here I go. 
Boom. <laughs> oh, I, I keep missing the things that I'm supposed to be hitting because I'm having too much fun firing him at the bad guys. <laughs> Let's hit that thing. I shoot. Oh, I assume that's going to take us in the right direction. Oh dear. I guess we're, we're taking two of them with us now. This is fine. Where's my friend? Did he go in the? Did he go in the lava? Is he dead? Be difficult to hit things now. Um, oh, I can I can shoot them. Oh, he's back. Hello. Oh, okay. That literally took us right over here. Hello. Don't think we. Oh, I suppose we did want to be over here. There's a chest. A bit of ruby. Not bad. I'll take it. Yeah, we kind of need to go the other way, though, guys. So let's uh, pick up the minecart, spin it around, pop it back down, and get back in. That was fun. Come on. I need rocket, man. I guess we're going to have to figure out these tracks, the direction that they're going. I wonder if we're supposed to, like, jump off and go in there. And if we did that, how... Oh, yes, we are. There's a bubble frog. Uh, quick, Tulin. Oh, and a, is it a fireproof lizard? Yes! The low frog face. Don't move while I'm trying to shoot you. Oh, you're so sneaky. Come on then, be useful. Smash those. <laughs> Send the stuff literally everywhere. No, <laughs> oh, I don't want that link. I want that and that. Now we can build this again. Excuse me, you're in the way, dude. Okay, you just stand in the way. I'll, I'll put it on the other side. It's it's fine. Honestly, you you can just stand there in the way. Not a problem at all. Okay. Is this on the track properly? No, it doesn't feel like it is. That could be a d disaster. There we go. All right, let's go. Don't fall out, Link. Let's hope, whoa, that we're actually heading in the right direction this time. Watch out for the fire key. Now. Missed. There's a lot of fire key. Go. Oh, uh, we, we appear to have crashed a bit. Sure. <laughs> it's brought us up to a shrine I wasn't expecting to be at, so that's good. <laughs> uh, you kind of need to come back, mate. I want that eyeball. Thank you. Now, don't go off without us, guys. Just in case. There we are. Bunch more stuff together. What an exciting mind. See, doesn't matter how many hours you play this game for. There's always something new and exciting. How many games do that? How many games have it just... Like, yeah, there's plenty of open world games that have different areas. Oh, this one's a snowy one, and this one's a warm one, and this is that, and this is the other. But how many games have this level of variety? Like... Oh, every mine, you, every cave you go down is exactly the same, and you do the same things in it. No, not this one. This one's got roller coasters in it and puzzles with things, and oh, it's just brilliant. I love it. We need to find fireproof lizards, guys. High on the agenda. 
fact, next time I see one, I should take a photo of it so that I can then use my shrine detector on that instead of shrines. The shrine detector on shrines is kind of useful, but it's also... You can normally spot them pretty well. I think I've played enough Zelda now to kind of almost guess where there's a secret shrine at this point. I might not get it right every time. But I get I get it right a lot. Your boulder sledge is just about at it, mate. Have you considered using your new friend to do it instead? Well, I would, but then he'll set off all these bright bloom seeds and I won't be able to pick them up. And don't forget, I have the spiky ball hammer of doom. <laughs> Boom. Okay, we're all gemmed up. There's another fire case has come from somewhere. Right, guys, I'm going in here. You two are going to have to... Oh, hang on a minute. I was going to say, you two are going to have to wait outside. Well, before you wait outside, I want to get this. Can't be doing without me salt, I'll be dinner date. Don't have too much salt, but a little bit healthy. You need some. Here we go. What's this one going to be? Another proving ground? No, it's a Raru's blessing. I wasn't expecting that. Huh. What are we going to get? A diamond. Diamond, diamond, diamond. A magic star. A really magic star. Oh, well. I was going to say what a waste, but I guess we get a light of blessing. And the more hearts we get at this point, the better, because it means our master sword gets even stronger. So, yeah. I said, well, it doesn't actually get even stronger, but it does. Um, makes it so it fires further. You can sur shield surf along the tracks used for minecarts and other rails for convenience. Really? Wow. I think I dare do that. Oh, we might have to. It appears the minecarts have gone. Huh. That's a problem. Now, there's, there's more in this area to discover. But I don't know how to get back. I suppose we can jump down there onto that one. And then I think that... Or the little hole with the minecart and it was nearby there. Or I guess we could probably get to the middle from here. Yeah, we can. Stick. Oh, fingers crossed, this time we actually head in the right direction and don't just crash into loads of other stuff. Let's go. Come on, Boulder Boy. So I need to be going off there in that direction. Oh no, that's where we've just been. That's the shrine, so where do I need to be going? Or is that this finished? Have I done it? We did that bit in there and got the bubble frog. So yeah, I think I think that's his mine done. Oh, we haven't been up there. But I need to figure out how we redirect the minecart to go back up there. Unless it's going to do it on its own, it could. It feels like it might. Yeah, that goes straight on. So this is hopefully going to take us the right way. Just like being at a fun land. I mean a theme park? Yes. Yeah. Fun land. Theme park. Yeah. Uh or not. This like this actually feels like we're going back where we started. Huh. Yeah, we've done this one. But how do we get home? I mean I know we can ascend. 
but I kind of kind of want to get back up there but that I don't think we can because of the way the track's broken I think we need to go the other way no I don't think that's going to help us actually um, I guess ascend then I think that's the only thing we can re realistically do at this point not that I can reach from here so let's hop out Go back up here. And we'll just descend up. It's fine. We missed all of that stuff coming down the uh, down the hill where the first minecart was, but it's fine. We got everything. We don't need anything else from in there. We've come away from that veritably rich. That's not the right word. It, yeah, but it sounds good though, didn't it? Oh, a little camp. Who could it be? And there's another shrine over there. I should be going there soon. But let's have a chat with the campers. A dish worthy of the elite. Or your traveller lured here by the rum of my cooking. I imagine this camp belongs to Captain Torrent's squad of monster control crew. And they're executing a major strike as we speak. It's recommended you clear the area before things get hectic. Ah. The cave that serves as the monster's base is up the hill and down the road, but even here we might be in danger. Captain Torrens on his way there now to clear those monsters out. Oh. As the squad's chief, I stay behind. May not swing a sword, but my ladle prepares meals most worthy of the elite ah. team. If you followed your nose here, you must be hungry. Take this, one of my special meals. Oh, thanks very much, mate. Mm. The members of the Captain Torn squad are skilled, but they get hungry quickly. I'm worried that their hunger may distract them, allowing a monster to catch them unaware. How I wish they had someone to aid them, should their appetites waylay them. Okay, we'll go help you, boss. We go help the boss, no problem, boss. Right, where was that shrine I just labelled? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay, that's by those lizard-shaped water things, which I kind of wanted to explore. But he was looking in this direction. Uh-huh. Hang on a minute. Did I just walk past something I could collect? I did. A thunder lion. Go kick some butt, guys. You. Are you ready? Are you ready to attack? The brute force. The monsterness. Go. Ah, a fire lizzle fuss. I need those. Fire breathing lizzle fuss. Yes, please. Get him, guys. Good job. Thanks for letting me take him out on my own. Makes me feel stronger. I thought they were supposed to help you. So did I. Up the hill and down the road is what he said. And on the way, we shall gather things like mushrooms and stuff. Mushrooms and stuff? Yep, can't be the better stuff. Better stuff? Any stuff over here? Look, there's, there is a whole bunch of stuff here. See? Would have missed that. What I'm really after is diamonds at this point, but I don't think there are going to be any just lying around in these things. Okay, lava rock goat monsters. Don't let them touch you. Ow. <laughs> Don't let them touch you. I, I know. Yeah, they're only spitting out amber as well. Oh, man. Come on, Rolly boy. We've got monsters to save. No. People to save from monsters. It looks like this is also actually taking us in the direction. Oh, hello. Another one of that shrine is what I was going to say then. Good morning. Oh, I didn't get one of their tails. I need the fire lizzle, lizzle foss tails in order to upgrade that uh, bit of armor. I can't remember which armor it was. 
But all of this stuff, all of these gems, I keep selling these to people for money. Uh, but they're actually also very useful for upgrading a lot of the armor that we've got. So I probably shouldn't keep selling them. And I keep seeing these lying around. I need to attach one to something. I'm going to attach one to the Master Sword and see how that fares. Because we've got loads of them. It must be good. I mean, I'm assuming it's quite durable if it's bone. Maybe, possibly. Although bone's quite brittle, isn't it? Who knows? But there is smoke on the hill. So I'm going to assume that's where the chaps are. Let's go find out. Oh, hang on a minute. Shiny things of shininess. Now, is that a giant rock, lava rock talus over on the hill behind us? Or is that just lava? Because that looks like it's sticking out of the ground. I bet that's a rock talus. A lava rock talus. How hard could it be? Oh, a warm sapphire. We also need those for our armor. Hello. Yeah. You could do it without putting me on fire, guys. That'd be really nice. Hello, little rock fellow. Goodbye, little rock fellow. Getting a lot of amber. Not so much diamond. Co rock, though. I mean, that feels like a. Uh, one of those things you have at parties, doesn't it? Like a pinata. Don't have. Well, I suppose we kind of do have them in the UK now, thanks to American stuff. We didn't used to. We used to watch American films and be like. A piñata? What's a piñata? And then they suddenly, you know, after a few years, oh, you can buy them in the UK now. Just like all your things that you get from America. High school wasn't a thing in the UK. And now all of a sudden, all of our secondary schools are called high schools. Here we go. The monsters are up ahead. Meryl. Hi. What do you could possibly need right now? We are right in the middle of a monster control mission. Hold on, Link. Link. <laughs> It's you. Do you remember me? It's Torrin. We met at Hyrule Castle. We were looking for Princess Zelda. Does this mean you came to help us? Right now, we're approaching a swarm of monsters up ahead. After we close in on their base, we plan to begin our attack. If you're up for it, Link, we could join forces and give those hideous monsters a boot together. Okay. Let's do this. Let's give them a boot together. I'm going to prepare by picking a different weapon. Here we go, I'm prepared. I'm ready to give them a boot together. Where are they? Are they by this shrine? There is a monster down there. Is this where we're supposed to be? Oh no, they're all off up, up, up in here in this cave. Hold your position! Don't worry guys, I got this. Can you stay there? Lake Diamond Monster Den. How hard could it be? I always start every monster excursion by getting a bunch of seeds and smashing rocks guys you can't get the monsters before you smash the rocks i know it kind of takes away our you know element of surprise but it's okay oh these are weak 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 monsters don't worry guys you just you all hand back let me deal with this hey guys ow no, they're not that weak they're a bit weak. I need to stop doing jump jump hits. It doesn't work. Wow, I'm getting attacked by things. Why do you use the Master Sword? I mean, I could. That's what it's there for, isn't it? But it just feels... I don't want it to have to reach out. I don't want to break it. Nearly all gone. Nearly got him, guys. Oh, 
Oh, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of rocks to get in here. Uh, how are they going to fare on their own? Do you think? Do you think they manage, or should we go and help? We'll go help. One guy. There you go, buddy. We did it. That was the very last one. We won, everyone. Fought so bravely. Thank you for the help, Link. If you don't mind, can I have a moment of your time? I want to give you 27 diamonds. You did the hardest part of the work there. Really can't thank you enough, Link. By the way, Link, I couldn't help but notice you don't seem to be carrying a fl that flame famed sword of yours. I heard you have a special sword, and yet, when you have... What you have on your now doesn't seem so special. Ah, oh, never mind. I should know better than to judge things based on the way you look. Here, allow me to give you this reward. I do have the special sword. I'm just not holding it, mate. Without your help, Link, I'm not sure we would have been able to complete our mission. Well, we make for a Akal span in northeast Akalanex. We'll try and defeat as many monsters as we can. Farewell for now. I hope we cross paths again someday. <laughs> May the goddess highly always protect you, brave swordsman. I, I show you my good sword, but you're going to vanish now. Ah, oh, bye guys. It's there, look. Maybe I should start using it. Maybe I should start using it. I mean, I don't know why I save it, really. I just think, oh, something like a bad a boss will come along in a minute, or there'll be something I need it for. And then inevitably it doesn't. So, yeah, I probably just should start stop worrying about using it and use it. And I know it doesn't break, it just needs to recharge occasionally, and it takes 10 minutes to recharge, which means you can then, you know, pause the game, go have a cup of tea, which is fine. But, uh, yeah. Looks like we did a lot of, a lot of smashing. We got a lot of guys then. Right, did, what junk did I pick up during that battle? I knew I'd pick up long and uh, two-handled ones. I'll keep that one for boulder smashers, but I would like to pick up the smaller ones. Thank you. Single-handed weapons. It's the future, I promise you. The reason I'm not healing, by the way, if you're worrying, why, why aren't you healing? Uh, we're going to a shrine in a minute, uh, which means I will get the... Um, yeah, once I've completed the shrine, I get heal for free. Don't have to waste a meal, you see. Uh, they're a bit too high up, by the way. I expected there to be a frog in here. I guess it's probably not your, a normal cave because it's a monster den rather than a cave. I just assumed there would be. But maybe... Oh, a diamond! There we go. Maybe there's a bit we can smash through to get to the frog because they're normally behind some sort of hidden thing, aren't they? But it doesn't look anything... In here doesn't look particularly smashable. So I guess not. We've got a full amount of weapons. Can't pick anything else up. So there we go. Let's go and see that shrine. You don't seem to be going very quickly to find the princess. Oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. We've got a whole, a whole lot to, to explore, mate, in this area. You didn't do any exploring in that last area you uncovered with the map. No, you're right, actually. We didn't, did we? This whole area here, we haven't even stepped foot in other than to look at the uh, the dragon picture, which was down here. That's literally all we did. We haven't been to any of this. Other than the tower. Hmm. Maybe one day. Oh. Give me your lizzle tail. Or die. I thought you had to die to give you it. Oh, that's true. Did I get it? Uh, yes, oh, the horn. Is it the horn I need? No, it's the tail I think I need. Oh, well. Right then. Into the shrine. In the next episode, of course. Thank you all very much for it for watching and I'll see you all then. Goodbye.